Have you ever wondered how a single entity can exist in two states at once? Well, prepare to have your mind boggled. Welcome to the quantum conundrum, a realm where the conventional laws of physics take a back seat and wave-particle duality reigns supreme. Wave-particle duality is a cornerstone of quantum mechanics, a field that seeks to explain the behavior of particles at the tiniest scales. It's a concept that challenges our understanding of reality, proposing that all particles exhibit both wave and particle properties. Quite a paradox, isn't it? But that's the beauty of quantum mechanics. It consistently defies our everyday experiences and intuitions. This concept didn't just pop out of nowhere. It's the result of centuries of scientific exploration. The story begins with light. For a long time, scientists viewed light as a wave, an undulating disturbance traveling through space. This view explained a lot of phenomena, like reflection, refraction, and diffraction, and it held the scientific stage for quite a while. But then, something curious happened. In the early 20th century, scientists began to notice that light didn't always behave like a wave. Sometimes it acted like a particle, a discrete packet of energy. This was a revolutionary finding, one that shook the foundations of physics and set the stage for quantum mechanics. And thus, wave-particle duality was born, a concept suggesting that light and indeed all particles are neither purely wave nor purely particle, but a bit of both. It's a concept so strange, so counterintuitive, that even the best minds of the time struggled to grasp it, but don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. Yes, it's complex and a little mind-bending, but it's also incredibly fascinating. So strap in, open your mind, and get ready for a wild ride. We're about to delve into the world of quantum mechanics where things aren't always as they seem. Let's start with light, the first entity to challenge our understanding of physics. Now for a long time, scientists thought light was just a wave spreading out like ripples in a pond. This wave theory of light was widely accepted because it explained so many things like how light can bend around corners or interfere with itself to create patterns of bright and dark. It made sense, and it worked. But then, a few pesky problems started to crop up. For one, the wave theory couldn't explain why light always travels at the same speed, regardless of the motion of its source. Plus, it had no answer for the photoelectric effect, where light hitting a material can knock electrons loose, creating an electric current. Enter the concept of photons. In the early 20th century, scientists proposed that light could also be thought of as a stream of particles called photons, these photons would carry a specific amount of energy, depending on the light's frequency. This idea gave us a way to explain the photoelectric effect. The energy of the incoming photons gets transferred to the electrons, giving them enough oomph to escape their atomic bonds. But there was a twist. These photons, these particles of light, also seem to exhibit wave-like behaviors. They could interfere with each other and spread out like waves, even though they were particles. This was mind-bending stuff. It seemed like light was playing a game of cosmic hide-and-seek, acting like a wave when we thought we had it pinned down as a particle, and vice versa. This led to a radical, revolutionary idea. Light wasn't just a wave or just a particle, it was both. Depending on how we measure it, how we interact with it, light can behave like a wave or like a particle. So, light can behave both as a wave and as a particle depending on how we look at it. Now imagine firing particles at a barrier with two slits and observing the pattern they form. Welcome to the world of the double slit experiment, a realm where particles play a strange game of hide and seek. In this experiment, particles, be it light or electrons, are shot towards a barrier with two slits. If particles acted only like particles, they'd go through one slit or the other and create two bands of impacts directly behind the slits. But that's not what happens. When we perform this experiment with light, we observe an interference pattern on the other side, a series of light and dark stripes. This is a signature trait of waves, not particles. The light seems to be interfering with itself, as if it passed through both slits simultaneously like a wave, and then interfered with itself. But it gets weirder. When we fire electrons one at a time, the same interference pattern emerges over time. Each electron behaves as if it's aware of all possible paths it could take, and chooses to take all of them at once. It's as if each electron goes through both slits simultaneously and interferes with itself. These results are mind-boggling. They challenge our everyday understanding of how the world works. They suggest that particles like light and electrons have a dual nature. At times, they behave like particles at others like waves. This is the essence of wave-particle duality. The double-slit experiment provides compelling evidence for this duality. 
It shows us that the quantum world is far removed from our everyday reality. It's a world where particles can be in two places at once where they can behave like waves and where the act of observing can change the outcome. Intriguing, isn't it? This experiment shows that particles can behave as waves. This is the enigma of the quantum world, a world that continues to surprise and confound us even as we strive to understand it. But what if I told you, you can't know everything about a particle at the same time? This is where we dive into the realm of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. A key component of quantum mechanics, it's a concept that shakes the very foundation of our understanding of the physical universe. Named after the German physicist Werner Heisenberg, the uncertainty principle asserts that you can't simultaneously know both the exact position and momentum of a particle. To put it simply, the more precisely you try to measure one of these attributes, the less precisely you can know the other. How does this tie back to wave-particle duality? Well, let's think back to our previous discussion. Remember how we said that light can behave both as a particle and a wave? The same goes for matter. This duality means that particles have wave-like properties including the property of superposition, which is the ability for waves to add together. Here's where the uncertainty principle kicks in. When you try to measure a particle's position very precisely, you're effectively trying to pin down a specific point on its wave. But waves by nature are spread out over space. So the more you try to confine a particle to a specific location, the less you know about its momentum and vice versa. This isn't due to any limitations in our measurement techniques, or because we're disturbing the system when we measure it. Rather, it's a fundamental aspect of the universe. This principle tells us that there are inherent limits to what we can know about a particle. In the grand scheme of things, the uncertainty principle might seem a little abstract and far removed from our day-to-day -day life. But it is crucial in understanding the nature of the quantum world, and it underpins the technology that powers our modern world, from lasers to semiconductors. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? Even in science there are things we cannot fully know. So how does this duality affect the quantum world? Well, the wave-particle duality is not just a quirky trait of light, it's a fundamental aspect of quantum mechanics, the physics that governs the smallest particles in the universe. This duality is a game-changer. It changes our understanding of the natural world, turning our classic intuitive views on their head. Imagine this. You are at a party and you're both mingling with the crowd and at the same time sitting quietly in a corner. Sounds impossible, right? But in the quantum world, this is a reality. Particles can exist in multiple places at the same time, thanks to their wave-like nature. This is known as superposition. And it's not just about being in two places at once. Quantum particles can also exhibit different states simultaneously. It's like you're both dancing to the music and silently pondering the mysteries of the universe at the same party. This is again due to the wave-particle duality. But wait, there's more. The duality also leads to quantum entanglement, one of the most mind-boggling phenomena in quantum mechanics. It's like you and a friend at the party feeling the same emotions, doing the same actions, no matter how far apart you are. In the quantum world, entangled particles behave in a correlated way no matter the distance between them. The wave-particle duality also paves the way for quantum tunneling. Picture this, you're trapped behind a wall at the party. In the macro world you'd have to find a door or climb over it, but in the quantum world you could potentially tunnel right through the wall. This is because your quantum self exists as a wave and waves can permeate barriers. So, you see, the wave-particle duality is not just a mind-bending concept but a key player in the quantum world. It shapes the behavior of particles and thus, the very fabric of the universe. In the quantum world, things can be in two places at once, or be both a wave and a particle. Now you might be wondering how does this strange phenomenon affect us? Well, the wave-particle duality isn't just a fascinating scientific theory, it has real-world implications and applications that shape our everyday lives. Let's start with technology. The principles of wave-particle duality are at the heart of many modern devices. Take lasers for instance. The light in lasers behaves both as a wave and as a particle, allowing it to focus energy in a very precise way. This precision is what makes lasers an essential tool in various fields, from medicine where they're used for surgeries, to telecommunications where they're used in fiber optics. Next, consider electron microscopes. These devices use the particle aspect of electrons to create images of objects too small to be seen with traditional light-based microscopes. By shooting a beam of electrons, which we remember can also behave like waves, at an object, 
the microscope can capture detailed images at a molecular level. This has been invaluable in fields like biology and material science, enabling us to explore the world on a scale that was once unimaginable. But the impact of wave-particle duality goes beyond just technology. It also challenges our understanding of reality. It forces us to accept that the physical world, at its most fundamental level, doesn't behave in the simple, predictable ways we're used to. Instead, it follows the rules of quantum mechanics, a realm where particles can be in multiple places at the same time, and where observing a system can change its state. This shift in perspective has deep philosophical implications. It raises questions about the nature of reality, about what it means for something to be real, and about how our perceptions shape our world. So, even though it might seem strange, wave-particle duality has profound impacts on our everyday lives. It's not just a quirky feature of the quantum world, but a fundamental principle that underpins the universe and everything in it. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. We've been on a fascinating journey through the realm of quantum physics, where things aren't quite as they seem, and the rules of the game are somewhat different. We started off by exploring the quantum conundrum, where the fundamental particles of our universe can behave both as particles and as waves. This led us to the nature of light, a phenomenon that exhibits this dual character quite eloquently. We saw that light, which we often perceive as a wave, can also act like a particle. This is, in essence, the wave-particle duality. Then came the double-slit experiment, the quintessential demonstration of this duality. When we shoot particles at two slits, they create an interference pattern just like waves would, but when we observe which slit they go through, they behave like particles. This experiment beautifully illustrates the heart of quantum mechanics, the principle of superposition, where a particle can exist in multiple states at once until observed. In the realm of the tiny, we saw that the wave-particle duality leads to the uncertainty principle. It states that we can't simultaneously know both the position and momentum of a particle with absolute certainty. The more precisely we know one, the less precisely we know the other. This isn't a limitation of our measuring tools, but a fundamental property of the quantum world. We learned that wave-particle duality is not just a quirky feature of light and electrons, but a fundamental aspect of our universe. It challenges our everyday understanding of reality and compels us to think beyond our ordinary experiences. Finally, we discuss the impact of this duality, which is far-reaching. It's the cornerstone of quantum mechanics, and it underpins much of modern technology, from lasers to electron microscopes, from solar cells to our smartphones. So, the next time you turn on a light or use your phone, remember the strange and wonderful world.